Hi and welcome to the 20p arcade retro challenge or whatever you want to call it. I can't remember. I'm kind of screwy this week. This week's been shit. Uh, but this is the um, this is the challenge for the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page. Um, yeah, this week's game is Inferno, which is appropriate because my week's been hell. Let me just have a little chat before we go into the game. Um, I'm going to ramble for a bit, so the game will start in a couple of minutes. But basically, on Monday, I found out that the company I work for is being sold and that I may not have a job. So I find out next week whether I'm unemployed or not. Yay. Too old to be unemployed. Coming close to 40. Um, I've got three kids and a wife. It's, it sucks. And then to top it all off, Tuesday, I get an email from YouTube saying that my entire channel has been demonetized. Yes, demonetized. Why? For reused content, which is utter bollocks, because I record all the footage myself. Everything I do, I have my original source work files for. Um, I record all the game footage myself. Um, the the graphics I edit myself. The 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 compiling, the editing, everything is done by me. That's why I don't do that many videos because it's a one man show over here, folks. Um, and to be demonetized for that and being accused of reusing people's content sucks, especially when I know of so many channels like Watch Mojo whose sole purpose is to take other people's work and spin it into, you know, their own content. And my work. Whenever I record footage for a video game, it's for a review or for a, for a list or for a challenge, it's transformative use and therefore it's covered by the Fair Use Act. So I have no idea why I've been demonetized. And when I asked YouTube, um, I sent them a tweet on Team YouTube. I sent them, you know, hey, my entire channel has been demonetized. Everything's original that I do. Where do I send my original work source files that I have on my hard drive? To prove that it's original, where do I send them to to appeal this? I got no reply from YouTube whatsoever. Yet they were responding to other people within 20 minutes to an hour. I've waited three days for a response and nothing. They're ghosting me. Which is very, very disappointing as well. And it's awfully coincidental that my account got demonetized the day after I made a comment about... YouTube's handling of the recent child pedophile ring case and I said you know punishing a channel because somebody wrote disgusting comments on it is like saying a rape victim deserved what they got you know it's the same deal you're you're victimizing the victim even further by by the way that you're acting it's funny that the day after I sent that message my channel was demonetized. Hmm, funny about that. And now they're not responding to me, of course. So, yeah, um, take that for what it is. Um, again, it's disappointing because everything I got from the monetization of my channel, I reinvested in the channel. I got myself the, the mic. I got my, just recently, a week or two ago, I got myself a green screen that I haven't even had a chance to set up properly yet. Um, and YouTube's always been a hobby for me that kind of, funded itself and that was what was great about it I, I i could use it as a hobby i used it to learn new new skills you know video editing graphic editing it's i i didn't know anything until i started youtube and i learned as i went um so it's been invaluable to me and normally i would say yeah fine i i'm quite happy to invest my own money in my channel and to keep it going which i have been doing for years um but when i might not have a job that means that I might not have any money to do that with anymore. And I ha it's just awful timing. It's dreadful timing and it sucks. Um, and I'm really disappointed with YouTube's lack of uh, communication with me. I have to wait two months to reapply for monetization. Two months, which is crazy. Anyway, anyway, um, I'm really pissed off. Um, my mindset hasn't been in the right place to do this 20 PRK challenge. So I haven't had much practice. The practice run that I did have though, I managed to get 118,500 points. That's the best I got. It was like three seconds into level six. Most of the time I die on level five. 
Level four is a cakewalk. Everybody can beat that. But level five is really tough. And the game itself is really tough. And without any more rambling and without further ado, let's get going, shall we? Let's get the game playing. So there are no continues. So we've got two attempts to get the highest score and as far as we can. Right, so here we go. Let's see how we do. Okay, we're going in. Oh, no, we're not because I forgot about the teleport. I always forget about that teleport near the exit gates. Alright. Come on, come and get me. There we go. The cocoon wave. Cocoon! Cocoon! Well, they're quite high up this time. Normally the cocoons come a bit lower down. Let's try and follow one of these guys into the inferno. Try and get some extra points. Try and get an extra life. Hopefully we get a good layout of enemy placement. But no, we get an awful one. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Yes! Extra life. Right, easiest level in the game. Here we come. All we have to do is wait for the tank to come down a bit. Okay, there's this tank tracks down. Whoops. Okay, I have slowed the process down somewhat. There we go. Okay. Level 5. So far, so good. This is where it all goes awry. And this is where I die. The, the scale of difficulty goes up at a rate of knots at this point. It's just so hard now. And once you go on a losing streak in this game, you keep losing. Come on, let's let's go for it. Yes! I'm hoping for an extra life here and a really good level placement. Come on, enemies. I'm sandwiched in there. Come on. Good. Okay, level six. And a personal best. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at the state of this. <laughs> so. so, one, two, seven, four hundred. That is my score for the first round. And that was at level six. One, two, seven, four hundred, level six. Personal best by over, well, by nearly 10,000 points. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? We ready for this? Do, 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 Level one. And I'm going balls out. I'm just going straight for the Inferno. Wow. 
mistake. Definitely a mistake. Greedy and complacency, not good. But we're gonna carry on anyway, cause screw it, I know I'm not gonna beat 127,000 points, so fuck it. I'm gonna take that teleport out of the way. Go on. Get out of it. Oh, he went the other way. This one's not, though. This one's coming this way. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. That is a bad pattern. Oh. See, your guns can only fire so fast. If they surround you, you're done. So I went from a personal best to an absolute bloody disaster. But hey-ho, that's Inferno. And it matches the week I've had. It's been ups and downs without the ups, so... Chata! So that's my challenge this week, guys. Inferno, default settings, 127, 400, level 6. That's the score and level to beat. This is on the RetroTech 100 Facebook forum. There are a nice bunch of guys and gals over there. So if you want to join in with the challenge and kick my ass, which I'm sure many, 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 many of you would love to do, um, please join the group, you know. Post, uh, read the rules, post your scores, and I will see you next time on the RetroTech 100 20p arcade challenge. Until then, boy.